and this is a giant testament to how important it is to make New Hampshire the first right to work state in New England. This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. Here's a great concept I've never made good on, but hopefully I or some other liberty activist in New Hampshire will make good on it. Eventually, maybe someone else already has. But uh, for those of you who are fans of the X-Men series, or more specifically for those of you who are not, who haven't watched it, there's this concept called uh, protect those who fear you. So it's like the, the X-Men are basically out there to protect the people who fear mutants. The X-Men are good mutants, and they're protecting the people from the bad mutants. Well, by the same token, us freedom folk should be primed, or at least sort of thinking about protecting those who fear us, or those who are our enemies, uh, when, on the rare occasion, they are in the right. Now, I don't think we should go as far out of our way to help one of our enemies as we do to help one of our friends. It's true that people who are actively attacking everyone else's freedom really should be a lower priority, but both in theory and in practice, we should not want authoritarians or government people to become the victims of government action. Now, most of the crowd that you see here is uh, against the bill. So, for example, these unhappy union workers trying to stop the government from imposing union-limiting regulations on companies, well, they're the broken clock that is right uh, at this point in the day. I might not like unions, generally speaking, but number one, it's wrong to have a government using taxpayer dollars to do anything. And number two, you're technically initiating force against a company if you tell it through, through government action that, that it is not allowed to re, you know, relate to a union in a certain way, a, a certain non-forceful way. So, so in this case, what the issue was is a right to work law, which would have uh, essentially ended union shops in New Hampshire. We request of them to represent the workers' ability to choose whether or not to join a union. Well, maybe there's some company out there, at least in theory, that wants to be a union shop. Hey, if Jimmy Hoffa owned a company, maybe he would want it to be a union shop. I'm going a little out on the limb even that with that, but it's possible. So I feel kind of good. I guess I actually I did sort of, uh, to some extent, stand up for the rights of these union workers who I uh, so thoroughly disagree with about almost everything. Uh, because I did, uh, you know, confront some of the politicians who were trying to impose these regulations, and I asked them relatively difficult questions. I, I, I didn't, I didn't support, and I made real clear to everyone that I didn't support this new government regulation on businesses slash unions. I was against it. I'm still against it, and I'm speaking as a person who was victimized by those rules a time or two. Sort of, you know, the rules that unions and, and companies have. Uh, or you have to be in a union or are pressured to join a union. Uh, but ultimately, I think it would do you know quite a bit of good if uh, some of us are doing things and perceived as doing things that protect our enemies from uh, the bad apples in the liberty movement or the bad ideas in the liberty movement, even if that protection is just expressing concern. You know, actually, there's another person who did something along these lines that are re it was a lot better than what I... Well, it, it was, it, was a lot, it was a lot more philanthropic than what I did. Uh, I just took a position on an issue, but Ian Freeman actually sent money to some crazed authoritarian lady who's been uh, manically denouncing free staters for a long time. She was in some kind of a car wreck, and he sent her some kind of you know, money to help her pay her hospital bills. And yes, I agree, that's nice, uh, but uh, two problems in his case. First of all, he publicized it himself, which is just the... I mean, I guess there have been occasions where I've publicized some things that I've done that I think are good, but, man, I'm just, I'm just the idea of publicizing an act of charity just seems pretty questionable. Uh, maybe you get video of it if there's some interesting video, but I, I don't know. Uh, the other thing is, well, he, yeah, I guess he actually sends money to, to help liberty activists, too, but really instead of sending money to someone who's actively trying to hurt people, 
uh, uh, by taking away their freedoms. Well, well, there are plenty of free staters who've been in car wrecks too, and it really would be better. That money really it would, be, it would get better go to the good guys than the bad guys, right? If you're gonna do humanitarian aid in World War II, you're not gonna help Nazi soldiers quite as quick as you're going to help French resistance fighters, right? Right. I'm right. I'm right about this. No, not right about everything. But anyway, that is all. Did you think this is the way of life dot com was just a website about a pork fest campsite? Well, actually, it is the source of conspiracy theories, mostly from people who haven't visited it. Uh, and in truth, it is the story of the gutsy free stater who went from zero to one hundred on the atheist Christian scale. Orwell said biography is only to be trusted if it reveals something scandalous. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com.